So hello, I'm Kristen Joy, and this is Your Rights at Work. And our guest today is Johnny Arenas. And Johnny has two jobs, maybe more. He's a self-employed house cleaner, a promotora or educator with the Workers' Rights Program at Casa Latina. And he's passionate about the rights of domestic workers, such as house cleaners and nannies. And one day he would like to see domestic workers receive overtime pay, paid sick time, benefits, and more. Welcome, Johnny. Oh, good afternoon. Thank you for having me uh, today. My name is Johnny Arenas. I'm so proud to be a member of Casa Latina. And I am here for answer. Well, any questions that you have for me today? Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your organization, Casa Latina, and your job as a promotora helping other workers learn about their rights? Um, Casa Latina is a nonprofit organization. The, I know about Casa Latina back in 2017. I can give you a little, uh, little history about how I found uh, Casa Latina. It's then to my husband because then he uh, told me that oh, uh, Casa Latina, I can look for new jobs and I'm so proud to be a, a house cleaner. And that's how I start working uh, side by side with Casa Latina. And Casa Latina is dedicated to help the immigrant community, Lat Latina community. And then being working with that community for, I think, over two decades. Because then I love to interact with other people, uh, not just only with the Latino, because then a lot of workers, they have to know that rights. And that's when I started working with a program of uh, promoter, promotor or promotora. And for example, here in Seattle, we have the Domestic Worker Bill of Rights that is helping to all the professional house cleaners to, for example, the minimum wage or the, the pay that they are working with each employer. We working, we are all hearts strong to get a new amendment to the, to the Domestic Worker Bill of Rights forget our safe, uh, basic and safe time. Because and during the COVID, we was one of the industry that we didn't receive a lot of benefits. Our topic today is paid, sick, and safe time. So Johnny, can you tell us what is paid, sick, and safe time? And do all workers in Washington state have the right to get paid if they are sick? Yes. According to the law, uh, if you are working 40 hours per week, your employer has to give to you one hour for sick time or pay, uh, basic or sick time. And so what if someone works part time? What if they only work 20 hours a week? Are they still eligible for paid sick time? Yes. As soon as you make 40 hours, you receive one hour per 40 hours that you work. If you work in this week 20 hours and the next week you work 20 hours, when they combine, it, it's kind of like a 40 hours, you receive one hour for basic or, or safe time. It's good news. That's good news. Um, uh, when can a worker use paid sick and safe time? For example, um, can they take a paid sick day if their child is sick? Yes. The paid sick or safe time you can use if uh, one of the uh, one of the members from the family, your kids have got sick, or the husband or the mother or um, any who live in the household. Are there any other special rules for using paid sick and safe time? For example, do you have to bring a doctor's note? Only for the fourth day, well, you have to have approved because then after the fourth day, it's meaning that you are leaving the job. Okay. For okay. the COVID, how many days that we took and we stay at home? 
in, in case a person got, got, the, got the virus and got sick, it was more than, more than four days. And you had to approve that. Okay. So let me make sure I understand correctly. So for the first three days that you call in sick, you do not have to show a doctor's note. You do not have to provide evidence. But on the fourth day, you have to show evidence. Yes. Of being sick. Because then you are asking for use your uh, sick, uh, your basic and safe time. You're asking to your uh, to the employer like I am sick. But then after the three the three days, you have to approve. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about paid sick and safe time? All the workers that have the rights to speak up, and especially if they're sick or a member from the family or, or something like that, we don't want to happen with us. Please use your sick time because then that's, what, that's what I created for protect the employees. Well, I want to say thank you so much, Johnny from Casa Latina, um, for uh, educating us all today about paid sick and safe time. Um, and I hope that you tune in next time for your rights at work.